Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about identifying the length of a confidence interval. The confidence level of an interval estimate of a parameter is the probability that the interval estimate contains a parameter. It describes what percentage of intervals from many different samples contain the unknown population parameter. So, the confidence level has its corresponding coefficient, which is called the confidence coefficient. So, these con coefficients are used to find the margin of error, for instance. So, the table below shows this corresponding coefficient confidence level. So, uh, itong mga nasa taas, this one is the confidence level at yung nasa baba naman, their corresponding confidence coefficient. So, for example, for... 99% confidence level, so the corresponding confidence coefficient is uh, 2.58. For 98%, ang corresponding coefficient is 2.33. And for 95%, the corresponding coefficient is 1.96. And for 90%, 1.645. So ito ay gagamitin natin to find uh, to solve the margin of error. Okay? So, the confidence interval or interval estimate is a range of values that is used to estimate a parameter. So, this estimate may or may not contain the true parameter value. For instance, so we write it in this form. Okay? So, the population mean is greater than the lower limit but less than the upper limit. So, how are we going to find the lower limit? So, using this formula, so isa-isahin natin itong formula na to, kung ano yung formula na yan. Okay, the margin of error, or denoted as the capital letter E, okay, the formula is the confidence coefficient times the quantity of the population standard deviation over the square root of N. So, Yung n natin is the sample size. And then, this symbol is for confidence coefficient. Kung saan kanina pinakita ko sa inyo yung table na may uh, corresponding confidence coefficient ang bawat confidence level. And then, this symbol is the population standard deviation. And this symbol class is the sample mean. Okay, the sample mean. Now, how we're going to compute the lower limit? Okay, the lower limit or the lower confidence boundary or the lower limit, that is the sample mean minus the margin of errors. Okay, so kanina, ito yon, Ito yung lower limit natin. So kapag titignan natin kasi masyadong mahaba yung formula, pero madali lang kunin yan. So again, uh, how to find the lower limit? That is the sample mean minus the margin of error. So, kung nakuha na natin yung margin of error natin, so subtract lang natin sa given na sample mean. At ang pagkuha naman kay upper limit, that is the sample mean plus the margin of error. Okay? So, sige, let's try. A study of 50 students showed that their average score was 87. The standard deviation of the population is 9. Find the 90% confidence interval of the mean score for all students. So, para madali natin makuha ang margin of error, so first, we need to identify the given values no, based on the uh, problem. So, what are the given? First is the sample mean, that is 87, kasi average score was 87. The confidence coefficient is 90%. Confidence level, no? So, hahanapin natin sa table yung corresponding confidence coefficient ni 90% and that is 1.645. So, therefore, the value of confidence coefficient is 1.645. And then, the, st uh, the population standard deviation is 9 and the sample size is 50. Okay, so... Now, let's proceed to compute the margin of error. So, using this formula, the confidence coefficient times the quantity of the standard deviation over the square root of n. 
Okay, so what we're going to do, substitute lang natin sa formula natin yung mga given values na nakuha natin. So, the confidence coefficient, that is 1.645 times yung standard deviation natin, that is 9 over square root of 50. Kasi yung sample size natin, yung n natin is 50. So, to compute the margin of error, use your uh, calculator or scientific calculator. And then, the answer is 2.09. So, make sure class na i-round off natin yung final answer to two decimal places. So, again, so make sure na i-round off natin yung final answer natin dito to two decimal places. So, since nakuha na natin yung margin of error, we can find now the lower limit and upper limit. So, the lower limit, that is the sample mean. Okay? So, the lower limit is the sample mean minus the margin of error. So, ano naman yung sample mean natin? That is 87. So, nakuha na natin yung value ng margin of error natin, which is 2.09. So, isa substitute lang natin. So, 87 minus 2.09. So, our lower limit is 84.91. So, yung upper limit naman, that is the sample mean plus the margin of error. So, that is 87 plus 2.09. The answer is 89.09. So, make sure na nasusundan yung mga steps. Okay? So, una muna, kunin natin yung mga given values and then compute the margin of error. And then, compute the lower limit and upper limit. So, now, makukuha na natin yung confidence interval natin. So, the confidence interval is between 84.91 and 89.09. So, yung 84.91, that's the lower limit. And 89.09 is the upper limit. Okay? So, this one. Another example. An online seller of Chicken Wings, which is very popular in Tondo, Manila, survey several customers. So, 52% of the customers were satisfied with the services that were offered with 3.98% margin of error. So, determine the confidence interval using this information. So, pag binasa natin yung problem natin, no? wala tayong makikita ang uh, sam sample size. The, wala rin tayo makikita ang population standard deviation and the sample mean no? wala rin, I know, that was the 52% that is the sample mean kasi uh, it already in the percentage so 52% so ano yung mga given lang natin dito so yung margin of error natin ay binigay which is 3.98 so 3.98 or 0 0.098 so again 3.98 98% or 0 0.0398. So, pwede i-convert natin into decimal, no? And then, the sample mean, which is 52% or 0 0.52. So, dito, binigay na yung margin of error. So, hindi na natin uh, kailangan mag-compute ng margin of error. And then, binigay na rin si sample mean. So, madali na lang kunin natin yung lower limit and upper limit. Okay? Since the lower limit is the sample mean minus the margin of error so the answer is 0 0.52 so substitute lang natin minus 0 0.098 the answer is okay so the answer is 0 0.4802 or 48.02 percent and for upper limit that is x or uh, the sample mean plus the margin of error so, that is 0 0.52 plus 0 0.0398, that is equal to 0 0.5598 or 55.98%. So, ang ginawa natin dito, kinonvert natin into percent. Okay, pwede ang sagot nyo in, into decimal or pwede rin in percent. Okay, so, ang tanong dito, determine the confidence interval using this information. So, anong confidence interval natin? That is 48.02% or 55.98 or 0 0.4802 or 0 0.5598. So, in between, no? in between 
0.02% and 55.98 or in decimal that is in between 0.4802 and 0.5598 okay another okay i think this is the last example so first is you are planning to buy a cell phone with a good quality in order to attend the online class the average price of 50 cell phones is 13,500 pesos with a margin of error of 273.65 pesos and a confidence level of 99%. So, ano yung magiging, ma, uh, yung mga given values na makukuha natin? Binigay yung margin of error natin, no? And then, that is 273.65. And then, the sample mean, that is 13,500. So, kukunin natin ngayon ang confidence level. No? So, anong pinapahanap sa atin? So, kukunin natin yung confidence interval nito. Okay? So, the lower limit that is sample mean minus the margin of error which is 13,500 minus 273.65 the lower limit is 13,226.35. And then, the upper limit, the sample mean plus the margin of error, that is 13,500 plus 273.65 equals 13,773.65. So, therefore, the interval or the confidence interval of this problem is between 13,226.35 and 13,773.65. So, that is the length of confidence interval. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.